guys. Um, today, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin i-install yung printer driver sa ating mga laptops. So, etong laptop ko, this is Windows 8.1. So, for Mac users, sorry, wala po akong may papakita sa inyo. Pero basically, it's the same. No? So, first, if mapapansin nyo, dun sa package natin, meron tayong kasama dun na CD, yung installer. So, syempre, isasaksak natin yun sa ano natin, sa CD-ROM ba tawag dyan? Dyan, yung, yung lagayan ng CD sa laptop natin. So, once sinaksak na natin, open tayo ng folder ha. So, punta tayo sa this PC. Yan, eto. Eto yung lalabas. So, double click. So, punta tayo sa driver software. Double click ulit. And then, for Mac users, Mac operating system, dito, for Windows, dito naman. So, I'll click Windows. And, click this one. This is the application. So, click natin yan. Double click. So, yan. Click lang natin yung yes. And then, click English. Okay. I mean, sorry. Click okay. And then, install. So, yan. Installing na po siya. Okay. Yan. So, ito yun na, na yung lumabas. So, model. Ito yung i-ano natin. Pabayaan lang natin yan. Ito na lang. Yung driver name. So, ako gusto ko lang Zijang 9200. So, kaya na bahala kung anong gusto nyo. And then, you have to select a port. So, ako... O2 akin kasi meron na kasi akong O1. May Epson na kasi ako naka-install dito sa laptop ko. So, for this Zijiang printer, O2. I'll choose O2 and then click in install. Yan. So, eto na yung properties. So, isa-isahin natin. So, eto, for some reasons, eto yung ano, eto yung naka-default niya. Yan, isa-isahin natin. Sharing. Wala naman masyado dyan. Dito tayo sa device setting. So, naka 72 by 100. Let's select 100 by 150. Yan, 100 by 150. And then, click apply. Click OK. Okay, so, nawala siya. So, punta tayo sa control panel. So, eto, nandito na kasi yung control panels ko. So, in case wala, hindi nyo alam paano i-search yung control pan panel, click nyo lang yung search, type in control panel, and then click nyo lang yung control panel, tapos yun, lalabas na. So, since meron ako dyan, I'll just click control panel, and then go to device and printers. So, yan. Ito na. So, naka-green siya. Ibig sabihin, naka-default printer ko siya. So, right-click. Click Printing Preferences. Printing Preferences. And then, Page Setup. Select 100 by 150. Yan. 100 by 150. Tapos, may nakapagsabi sa akin, isang buyer na to darken daw the black print on your waybills, pwede daw natin i-increase yung density. So, siya, he made it 10. Ako, I just want to stay as is sa 8. So, option nyo naman yon. So, basta ang importante dito is eto siya. And then, click apply again. And then, click OK. So, balik ulit tayo sa print, printing preferences. Double check lang natin. Let's make sure na wala tayong na, na skip. So, page setup yung kanina. Paper quality, yan. Regardless, black and white lang naman kasi ang pwedeng ma-print na itong uh, Zijiang model natin. So, kahit i-click yung color, black and white, black pa rin yung lalabas na print. So, yan. So, let's check kung anong meron sa advanced. Yan. So, ito yung kanina yata. Advanced option. So, let's just click 100 by 150. Yung iba kasi naka-default pa rin yung 72. Mm. Basta, let's always click 100 mm by 150 mm. So, click OK. And then, apply again. And then, click OK. So, balik ulit tayo. Double click. 
printing preferences yung kanina. So, let's go to printer properties. So, ito yung kanina, di ba? Yung first. So, I think na double check na natin to lahat. Yan. So, I think okay na. Naset na lahat sa 100 by 150. So, ngayon, magte-test print tayo. So, syempre, hindi nyo makikita. I'm going to turn on the printer itself. Then, click print test page. Dapat, pag pin rin to, yan, yan. Tumutunog na siya. <laughs> yan. Okay. Good. So, eto yung kinalabasan. Yan. So, sentro naman siya. So, it means everything is okay. So, just click close. Okay. Yan. So, mag-sample tayo ng waybill. Pero na akong waybill dito eh. Medyo mabagal. Yan. So, print waybill. Ito siya. Print waybill. Yan. So, and then, click print document. Yan. So, more settings. Oh, okay. Okay lang to. 105 by 150. Okay lang yan. Uh, hindi naman big issue ang 5 millimeters. Pero kung OC kayo, sige, let's 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 look for the 100 by 150. So wala siya. So okay lang 'yan. It doesn't matter. So anyway, 'yun fit to paper and then click print. Okay, i-click ulit, magpi-print ulit ako. Syempre, hindi niyo makikita. Yan, it's printing. Okay, very good. So, success. So, for the others, um, yung lumalabas kasi is maliit yung waybill na napiprint sa thermal paper nila. Uh, ang, ga ang gawin nyo is to just to restart your laptop and then pag turn on nyo again and then print, magiging okay na yan. So, just make sure na sinunod nyo yung instructions or yung procedures natin kanina. So, we won't have any problems. So, for those naman na uh, whose laptop don't have any CD-ROM, you can download the printer driver sa website, zijiang.com. Click enter. Service. And then, click printer driver. Yan. So, scroll down. Scroll pa baba. If you're a Mac user, ito yung i-download nyo. Just click the this one, the blue arrow pointing down for Mac users. And then for Windows naman, itong pangalawa sa huli. Okay? So basically, the procedure is just the same. Okay? So I hope na nakatulong. And this is the first video of my YouTube channel. So please like, subscribe, follow, comment, whatever. And if you have any questions, you can just comment below. I'll also put down the link where I bought my uh, printer. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.